said, this was the main thoroughfare. This was Highway 395. You know, it ran from coast to coast. Well, it divided East Pasco from West Pasco. So if you came up on the down the paths heading east, that's where all the blacks live was on east, in East Pasco. That was a dividing line. That was a dividing line because the underpass goes under the railroad tracks and across the tracks was us and across the track on the west side was everybody else. Yeah, uh, predominantly white. It was, it was the barrier. It was the, the obstacle. It was the, the separation between uh, east and west. It, it was, you, you, it was where we were, were compared to where we wanted to be. Well, we wanted to go to the show or we wanted to go to one of the stores over there or even later on um, when we were going to school, um, all the schools were over there. Well, we lived on the east side and so whenever we wanted to go to the movies or we wanted to go somewhere that was in West Pasco, and as children, uh, we would have to go either over the tracks, which was pretty dangerous, or we go under the underpass. And there was a walkway underneath there that we would take, and there was no lights. It was even in the daytime, to a certain area, it was completely pitch black. Once we hit that dark area where we couldn't see, my brother and my sister and, uh, and whoever other kids were others, we would start yelling and screaming. We were scared, but the other thing was, if there was anybody down there, we wanted them to know where we were coming, right, so we didn't surprise them. You know, if trains were going, you couldn't really go across the tracks, which was preferable, because going down the underpass, we knew Frankenstein was down there. And so, <laughs> and so you'd go there, go down the stairs, and then you'd run! all the way across the other side to get up so Frank wouldn't get you. <laughs> yeah. But as kids, we would jump up and walk across because the trains were stand, standing there. The, the train was going slow. So my cousin and I, we would grab it, step up on the railing and just ride down to the roundhouse, <laughs> catch another train and ride back. You know, that's just the way it was. <laughs> Yeah, and if my dad had known that, he'd killed him. <laughs> yep. The ladies walking through the on the path, they would very seldom walk through the on the path. And they would go across the tracks also. It was understood that if you were black, you lived in East Pasco. If you didn't have money to buy a home, then you weren't gonna get one uh, because they weren't gonna sell you one on the west side there. That was a whole nother world. I mean, it was like day and night going from East Pasco to West Pasco. 